This is a magical spider. It sneaked into the boy's shirt. Then it crawled onto the back of his hand and took a bite. The, the venom was quickly injected into his body. The boy slapped his hand. He left without taking it seriously. Back home. The boy soon fell asleep. At this point the spider's genes were fusing with the boy's cells. When he woke up he found that his trousers were a lot shorter. Could it be that he had grown taller? What's more frightening is that he had heard a lot of whispers. His hearing had become very sharp. He sweated a lot when he saw the goddess. He mustered up the courage to say hello to the goddess. But his hand was stuck in his hair and he couldn't get it down. What to do? The boy tugged hard. As a result, he runs away in embarrassment and accidentally skips out of the window. But he was able to walk upright on the wall. When he returned home he found everything today was very similar to the legendary Spider-Man. The boy, Miles, was a street rat. He wandered around all day, causing havoc every day. He was always late for school. But then one day this jerk gains a powerful power. He became Spider-Man. Miles went back to the place where he had shot the spider to find out what was going on. He found the spider already dead. Suddenly there was a loud bang. The wall behind him collapsed and he saw Peter Parker. Spider-Man and the green monster were fighting. That's when the green monster spotted him. Miles was terrified and ran. As he ran, he fell off the building. Luckily, Spider-Man saved Miles. I thought I was the only one. Like me. Peter Parker discovers that Miles also has the power of a spider, but not yet awakened. At this point, Spider-Man is trying to stop a conspiracy. He says he'll be Miles' mentor when the war is over. The Green Monster is one of the Villain King's men. He wants to use the Time Collider to open a time tunnel to find his wife and son, who were accidentally separated. Once the Collider is docked, it will have terrible consequences. At this point, Spider-Man wants to insert a chip into the Collider's control core to stop the Collider from docking. Suddenly, Jin's henchman Prowler rushes out. He throws Spider-Man man to the side. The green monster then stomped Spider-Man under his feet again. The next second, the collider docked. In a flash the city warped. It began to merge with other parallel universes. The green monster then tries to throw Spider-Man into the collider. He fought back. Suddenly there was a powerful explosion. And Miles found a dying Spider-Man in the rubble. Spider-Man gives the destruction ship to Miles, leaving him with the task of saving all of humanity. And Spider-Man was killed by a punch from the arriving genes. The loss of Spider-Man left people devastated, and a memorial service was held for Spider-Man. Justice has left, but is it really gone?